Hi guys, you're live on the Live with Clive show. We've got a shocking announcement to make. Shocking announcement. Shock me, rancher. I'd like to introduce America's favorite wristwatch rancher. Wristwatch rancher. I'm going to invite the rancher on now. Hello, Clive. How is my favorite rancher? Great. I come from a family of ranch ranchers. Now, a uh, couple of quick things. I, uh, I actually just got something. I'm, I'm tremendously, tremendously exciting, excited about it. Let me send you a picture of it real quick. Now, I'd send it to you beforehand, but, you know, this is the Archie Luxury Show, and we do have standards. I actually just found out I got something, and uh, I'm really excited about it. Uh, by the way, give us a wristwatch check. Wrist, 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 wristwatch check. I'm wearing the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage for all my diving needs. What are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing something right now, but I'm going to switch it pretty quick. Okay. By the way, you actually have no idea what I'm about to tell you, right? No, that's correct. Shocking news. Shock announcement. Shock me, rancher. Shock me, rancher. Shock me. Well, Come on, rancher. First of, all, first of all, first of all, did you get the picture? Did you get the email? Uh, let's have a look. It just came in. Yes, I've got that. Okay, do you want to put that on the, the you want to put that on real quick? Okay, one minute. Shock me, rancher. Shock me, oh, rancher. The shock, the shock will come here in a second. Okay, here we go. Da, da, da. Okay, and it's just like, so why is Clive getting excited about an oyster quartz? Not an oyster quartz. The thing is, the, the old farts I hang around, when they get excited about a watch saying, holy crap, I never see these, you learn to kind of pick up on that. This is what's known as the Rolex Reference 1630. It's known informally as the rare bird. For a short time before Rolex made the oyster quartz, they thought they would try and see how people liked the uh, or that design of the bracelet in the case. So for a very limited time, some say just a couple of years, they put an automatic movement in the Oyster Quartz case. I see. Yeah. So, you know, they call it the rare bird for a reason. And unlike an Oyster Quartz, you know, what happens if an Oyster Quartz goes south? Gonna send it to Rolex. Fucked. A tremendously expensive debt fix if they can fix it at all. Mm. If and keep in mind, you know, seventies they may not have that many of those quartz movements stuck in the drawers. Very true. And the oyster quartz, uh, the the rare bird, the sixteen thirty, just has as the usual uh, movement in every other date, just in the seventies, which means that parts. Is it a quick yeah. set or non-quick set? Uh, it's quick set. Okay. So kind of an integrated bracelet, just like the Oyster Quartz. And by the way, if you'll notice, um, the there's three, for the two-tone links, there, there are three two-tone links in the center of the bracelet. Mm. And with the Oyster Quartz, there's Oyster Quartz, there's two. So what, yes. what happened, a lot of unscrupulous jewelers, since these are a hell of a lot rarer than the oyster quartz, if they had a dead oyster quartz, they'd strip the bracelet, throw it on that, and then keep the uh, keep the 1630 bracelets for spare parts or sell them separately on eBay or whatnot. So it should be coming on Tuesday, and I'm tremendously excited to get it. It's, and it's one of those rare, it's one of those references you don't hear about very often at all. How did you get this one? Tell me the story. How did you get this one? 
I uh, looked around and I looked around and I asked, did a lot of phoning, did a lot of phone calling, and I asked a lot of questions. Had them take a lot of pictures. Did you buy it under market value? Yeah, I did. I seriously did. I um, And the thing is also out of state, also with a credit card, so I've got buyer protection. Learned that the hard way. And uh, so, and also since you're buying out of state and they're mailing it to another state, no sales tax. Do you have sales tax on secondhand goods? Yeah, if it comes from a store, hell yes we do. Okay. Anyway, uh, if you see one of those, especially, hey, this is a funky little oyster quartz, and the hand doesn't make the tick-tock, and it has the three links, grab it. The seal version of it, the oyster, uh, the uh, the date version of it, and the, the thing is, the they had two versions, the same size. The steel one, the all steel version is the date. The two tone is the date just, even though unlike every oh. other one. Now the steel ones are in the five digits. They made a little bit more of the date just because two tone. Of course, they made a little bit more money off them, but they're. They're going there quick, guys. Mm. Now, you'll also notice, though, it does it seem like Olex Rolex tried to pull a half ass Royal Oak here? Mm. And keep, keep in mind, this is this one's from 1976, the, you know, the, the high point of uh, one of Gerald Genta designs. Doesn't it look a little Gerald Genta ish? No. Nope. They don't. They don't officially. No one said whether Gerald Gentry was involved with the Rolex Oyster Quartz design or not. So that's something that hasn't really been officially confirmed. I don't think. No, but, but doesn't doesn't it kind of? I, I my it's guess. Rumored, he's is, rumored to have been involved. I don't know the truth of that. But I would say it's influenced by it. My guess is that Rolex tried to have tried to get sit down with their lawyers and probably tried to figure out. How much of this can we uh, can we get away with? Yes, that's a good point. Um, very interesting indeed. There. So that's that is that is the, that is the breaking news. That is the shocking announcement. No, it, no, it's not the shocking announcement. Shocking? No, not at all. What is the shocking no, announcement? Well, you know, actually. The exclusivity is, it can either be a broad term mm -hmm. or it can be a narrow term. You know, it depends. Um, certain items. Someone's asking be, what the, the big news is. Clive has bought a 1630. Robert. No, that is not, no, that is not the big news. Oh, that's not the big news. Okay. No, 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 no. That's just the intro. Warm-up act. That's just the warm-up act, guys. Yeah, actually. But like I said, so... You know, exclusivity can be a uh, whole bunch of different things. You know, s some items themselves, just classes of items, can be exclusive, like luxury cars, as opposed to passenger mm. or just commuter cars, mm. luxury goods. Sometimes, luxury brands, I mean, some can be exclusive. The entire brand, like, for instance, the Holy Trinity or Rolex. Sometimes models within a brand can be exclusive, such mm. as on Mars Piguet, the Royal Oak, as opposed to whatever the hell else Royal Oak, I mean, on Mars Piguet sounds. And sometimes individual items, individual pieces can be exclusive. I, I happen to have one of the last category. Wow. Mr. Chesterfield, does this look familiar to you? Ah, the Air King. So cool. Yeah, actually. Actually, yeah. How so, did it come back to you? Well, Uber Oki traded back. So on the 90-day payment plan? No, no, no. I'm keeping it. I love this thing. The thing is, oh, it's just so minty. It is so minty yeah. and clean. And 34 pure. mils, yeah, but actually. 34 mils. Yep. Yep. Exactly. I mean, look, I, I, I do you think it, it is small? What do you think? No, I can. No. Does it look, does it really look 
it oh, uh, okay. by the way, it looks look, okay. It looks okay. Yeah. It looks okay. Oh, um, okay. so what happened is my partner, you know, there's the three amigos. My, the someone traded, did mm -hmm. some trading with Uberoki, and my partner wanted the one on the strap, the the two tone date just or the two tone op date. That's yeah. a client with a Buckley dial. It's a really classy piece. So, um. But he, I quote, how much would it cost? How much would you could you get that for? He quoted him the price because that's the per you know the separate the a la carte price. Mm -hmm. Then they started doing some calculations. Thought, well, wait a minute. If I get all three, and I sep and I deduct the a la carte price of the one piece from the other, one, that kind of ends up subsidizing the other two. Of course, yes. Yeah. So so he got a great deal. He still got a great deal. It's an Uber Oki deal. I didn't charge him anything on it. Someone's offered you two and a half thousand. Two and a half thousand. Yeah. Oh, well, what's that one on your wrist there? What's that one on your wrist? That two Oh, wait, wait, wait. Vintage okay, Rolex vintage watches. Rolex watches. Two and a Okay, uh, vintage Clyde 2801. Oh, no, sorry, Clyde Law of K at. Oh, wait, David. That's okay. Yeah, David, I got your address. So okay. you got the PayPal address. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, sell now it, sell it. I, I think you could possibly squeeze a bit more out of it, maybe. What's this? This is a date just. I thought you had the blue one. Oh, that's your, what's that? That's the 30 Migo. Oh, okay, yep, yep. And it's a champagne linen dial. You know what a linen dial is, right? Okay, hello? Do you know what a linen dial is? Yeah, I'm not that fussed on it, but anyhow. Oh, it's sharp looking, and it's just, you know, really, really so, pretty pretty tight bracelet on it. So are you going to take 2500 on the uh, Air King? Yeah. No, no. well, I don't know. Well, let me put it this way. Now, as we know, Vintage Rolex Watches was really, really mad that I offered you for 2000 and I yeah. suspect he's probably doing this as a personal spite and a fuck you to the pontiff. Oh, no, no, it's so, completely okay, Clive. Sell it. Sell it. If you can. I, yeah, I'm totally going to sell it. Sell it. It's too fucking small for my liking, and I've decided not to give my my kids expensive watches. So I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I just like to give you a hard time for being a piker. Oh, yeah, successful piker. So what do you, th what do you think about the champagne dial, though? I, I like uh, – it's cool. It's cool. What's the stretch like in the bracelet? Pretty decent. Actually, pretty decent for the age. A little bit, but not much. Are you keeping it or are you selling it? What's the go? Um, Sapphire Crystal Quick Set. Well, you know, actually, uh, I might uh, – No, actually, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the blue dial and sell this one as well. So – Oh, guys? yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. keep the blue dial. Yeah. There you go, guys. If you want to buy it from Clive, it's available. It's available. I would. I, I think these are both beautiful watches. Uh, I'm just sending an email to Tan. Live now. Help me. Help me exploit. I'm sorry. Help me help you. Now, I don't know. Now, now, yeah, of course, keep in mind, Vintage made me an offer I can't refuse. He godfathered my ass. But now, what do you, now, do you, what do you think? Should I take it to my AD and ha maybe see if they put a Explorer dial in it? Just one minute, Clive. Someone's saying, what law school did you go to? Someone's saying they're a graduate of Suffolk Law School. Okay, Suffolk Law School. You're an ADA in Massachusetts. Okay, look. Um... um What's an ADA? Okay, Alex, Alex, look, ADAs are defense lawyers in training. Okay. Let's be honest. So you're you're pitting in the hard yard. You're getting the experience. You're trying all the cases. So that way, when you eventually get pissed off and realize that government service is nothing but a soul-crushing scam, you'll eventually go on to the our side of the fence, and then you'll start making their own money. So you're still in training. Keep it up. Get all okay. the training you can. Find out all the secrets your buddies know. And then flip to our side. Okay, good. Clivey, um, I got to tell you, 
I uh, I am disappointed that the Air King wasn't offered to me. Why why is that so? Why wasn't it offered to me? Well, I was going to keep it, but then but then David Breen and David Breen's a heck of a guy too. Number one, yeah. But and it's not it's not it's not really money. Well, no, it is totally about money. I mean, you know, it's not that's always okay, about my okay. pet. It's not always about the passion. Yeah. Are there any other things you want to sell? Because I'm I'm happy to mention them. If you give me a small little cut, if it does sell successfully, what else do you want to sell? You want to sell the president, the LBJ. Yeah. The LBJ. Uh, yeah. What, what money have, are you what, looking for? The LBJ. Yeah. What money? Eighty-five. You just want your money back, don't you? Mm -hmm. Eighty-five. And like I said, Eighty-five. It's been well. Two years ago, it was appraised for eleven. It's in yeah. like it's been appraised at 90, 90 to ninety-five percent original condition, and it works flawlessly. It just came back from oh, the Oh, by the way, Lee Howard, if you want me to answer that, you got a super chat. Press that little dollar sign, and I will answer your questions on air. Uh, okay. What other watches are you selling, Clive? What other watches? Well, you okay, yeah, is that though? I mean, okay, vintage Rolex watches. You have no idea. Minty, it's beyond minty. It's it's pristine. It's pure. It is it is so. Ooh. It's like okay, oh, we it, got we got twenty sec has come in. Super chat, fat ass bitch in my Honda Civic. Uh, how much for a private nude live show on Cam March? Um, look, I I would really need to get a thousand bucks. Oh, um, super hi chat. guys. Two days ago, I bought the Day Day Tridor from 1994 in unworn condition with the sky blue Stella dial for thirteen thousand. What do you think? The Tridor, you know, the Tridor that that looks like it, it's it's the white gold, yellow gold, rose gold. It's the three metals. And that's I a Rolex. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, of course. Rolex? It's a president. It's a president. It's a president. Right. Three colors of medals. It was the Tridor. 1994. That's unworn condition. I think those perfect examples. I always thought the Tridors are worth more than a standard president. Right. Not because a lot of them were made. They look like Datejust. They look like Datejust for rich people. Uh, I love the Tridor. I think it's great. I think uh, 13,000. It's certainly not a well. That's what you got to pay for an absolute stellar with a sky blue stellar dial, unworn. Ah, uh, I think that's good buying. Uh, good buying. Good. That's an amazing watch. A Tridor di nineteen ninety four. That's a pretty. Uh, I reckon grab it, grab it, and love it. Grab it, love it, lust after it, hoard it, and caress it. There you go. Don't wear it too much, but okay. Well, I had an experience yesterday. Yes, what happened? I went down to Dallas, oil patch. Yes. Uh, someone uh, like uh, a uh, Explorer 2, black dial, no holes mm -hmm. case, mm -hmm. no holes case for um, uh, 3800 with box. No holes case, 3800 with no papers, you mean? Right, no papers, with, but at least the box and it was re second owner. Did it you buy it? Um, yes, and then no. How do you mean yes and then no? What happened? Well, and it was bought from a local. It was bought from a local uh, jeweler in the area. Yeah, I've heard it. Uh, let me put it this way: it has the same name as the fictional beer on The Simpsons, without listing a name specifically. Okay, so so what went wrong then? You bought it and then you sent it back. What? Well, what well okay. No, so what happened is, um, I'm you know the the Unter Texan the I kind of I kind of I I, I hammered him on the Reverso, then he hammered me on the Yacht Master. So yeah, it's kind of like a yeah. friend. It's kind of like friend of me says. So I say, like, hey, next time you're in Tal Dallas, look me up. And we'll go talk. So we talked about. It, and I showed him the Air King. So. And I said, this is the, you know, the exclusive Archie, Air King that Archie Lux will never, ever, 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 ever get. Ever. I'm sorry. Ever, 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 ever. It, ever, it is ever only get. a 34 mil Air King. Let's not get too excited. Yeah, true. But on the other hand, it's exclusive. 
How's it exclusive? They made thousands of them. But you'll never get this one. So that I, don't, is I don't care about that. I don't okay, care. Archie and Clyde question. What happened to Chrono Swiss? Are they still in business? They are. Why doesn't anyone talk about them anymore? Okay, now, you know, the funny part is, is that I was talking to Han Danes. Han Danes, a Star Wars story. And he was actually talking about, we're discussing this, you were saying, you know, you're making blatant statements like, all ETA's bad, all in-house movements, good. And then I asked where we got done laughing about it. I mean, sorry, discussing it. He was bringing up specifically Chrono Swiss because he was saying Chrono Swiss is one of the movements that actually takes ETAs, but they just really work the hell out of them and regulate them and get uh, break it brings ETA just almost elevates it to almost hotelology status, decorates it almost to the point that, of that might school. be pushing it over the edge there. I mean, fuck me, you, you know, this guy really pisses me off at times. I don't know what it is. He really fucking annoys me. Like he will sit there, the little shit and criticize the fuck out of JLC. And then he's turning around saying, well, a highly polished, and worked on ETA is is a horterology movement. Oh well, no, know? I think he, he said it can be in the right hands because they. It's kind of like how it's kind of like how Rolex took the El Primero. Look, El Primero. I, I, I tell you what's wrong with Chrono Swiss. Okay, you know what's wrong with Chrono Swiss? What? Jerd Lang. That's what's wrong with Chrono Swiss. That guy has got a fucking ego. He's out of control. The guy's got an ego. Have you, did you remember the advertisements for Chrono Swiss? He was in this fucking library, or he's the guy has got an ego like a fucking 747. And uh, I gotta be completely frank and honest with you Chrono Swiss sucks. I really hate the brand. I like the skeletonized work they did there. Yeah, yeah, it's cool enough, but come on, guys. That sounds, that sounds fantastic. What's that? Um, the skeletonized dials. Yeah, they had many skeletonized watches there. If they were Pateks, they would be thousands, thousands more. Tens of thousands more. But the reality is they're not a Patek. They're a fucking Chrono Swiss. He's, that, that guy is just a madman with a huge ego. We're talking about the uh, Jerd Lang or... Uh, yeah, Jerd Lang. Um, we're talking both well, of those guys, uh, but you know what I'm saying? He's just he's just a madman with a huge ego, and uh, fuck. So what's happened? What's happened to Chrono Swiss? Are they still around? Are they still in business? Or are they just been uh, ignored? Oh, I, I think they're still going. I I, I I haven't heard anything that they 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 possibly look. There's been a very very um, there's been a bit of a downturn in the Swiss watching swatch industry. Um, Chrono Swiss was a soft brand even in the good times. Uh, um, and I mean, I think things have gotten look, it, it, it's a tough, it's a tough wrist luxury wristwatches are a very fucking tough market. Um, uh, that they're in business, they're, they're chugging along as far as I'm aware. Um, but I mean. I think they're advertised. Look, it, it, it's very hard. They're very, very soft brand. They're a very, very fucking soft brand. I think they're just... What can you say? They're there, but they're, they're nothing that fantastic. Nothing to get excited about. They're horterology for people who can't afford horterology. That's what they are. I'd, I'd rather have a a, a Jaeger Lecoultre than a fucking Chrono Swiss any day of the week. And, uh... Okay, $5, James Mann. Uh, $5 from California. No, sorry, Canadian. Same thing, really, if you want yes, to think about one. same thing. Something. But they're both left-wing liberals. If you were both presented with a sea dweller, piece pre-ceramic or steel, or a 41 date, just white gold, What's your pick and why? Ooh, that's a nice question. Oh, by the way, you know, what's, you know what's interesting about the three amigos? Uh-huh. It was like a Rorschach, Rorschach test. So have you paid Uber? Have you paid Uber no. for these pieces? 
these these pieces are completely well because yeah, last well, time they were on lend and a, a handshake and a no, wink and it was all no, over the shop not, they are mine or except you know except for the date the date uh the lp yeah. date and that's that's my partner's yeah that's that's exactly the, uh, it. yeah the lp date belongs to the elf on the shelf but yeah so but yeah these are 100 percent mine I don't know what do you. Which one? Of the, yeah, I don't know. What do you think I should wear? The uh, the champagne or the blue? I put the blue on. I, I think that's a much nicer piece. I tell you this now: Sea Dweller or a forty one date just white. Oh. When he says white gold, I assume he means a steel one with the white gold bezel. Right. Um. I tell you honestly. I honestly, aesthetically, I prefer. I would prefer the forty one date just. The white gold, I would prefer that aesthetically. Okay. However, the brain would say, Sports steel Rolex, sports steel Rolex, sports steel Rolex. That's no, what quick the brain question. would say. But I would, I would, if you were giving me one and money was no object, I would say the 41 date just white gold would be, that's the one I would prefer because I'm more conservative. I'm not that into sports. But if, 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 if I had a choice, I would go pre-ceramic sea dweller. Okay. Well, and like I said, now here's the interesting part. Han Danes, Han Danes, a Star Wars story, yes. would probably agree with you on that because of the basis of the movement. As he, as he would put it, the movement on the Datejust 41 is the tits. It's the most modern, up-to-date movement Rolex has. It's super accurate. It's within... Um, it, it blows away I, even I really the, hate that guy as we you keep mentioning him you know I don't see much difference between the two fucking movements they're basically the same one okay. uh, one one super regulated and actually ah, they actually that's... have supercomputers to do it, it requires yeah. less maintenance, less maintenance a lot more yeah, solid no, movement. No, no, that, that doesn't solid, that, that shit doesn't appeal to me that does that doesn't sway me look the movement in a pre-ceramic sea dweller is a great movement. It's fucking super delightful. chat. It might be Archie and Clive. I was offered a Hulk plus one thousand for my one one six six one three. What do you think? Would you trade a ceramic uh, two tone sub for a Hulk plus a thousand bucks? Now he or doesn't. He doesn't mention which version of two tone sub he's got there is it the smurf or the royal blue you know how they got the the original two-tone yeah. um bluesy they had a smurfy it became a smurfy and then they went back to the royal blue so you didn't quite mention it but i tell you honestly my either way either way i would have to tell you um i gotta be honest with you i would seriously I wouldn't do it. I reckon the two-tone Submariner is a fucking cool watch. Why would you swap it for a Hulk? I mean, I like the Hulk. I love the Hulk. But I I think, in my own opinion, I, I would stay with the... Um, I would stay with the two-tone. That's just my opinion. It's probably a better investment to have the Hulk than the two-tone, but it ain't always about money. It's... It's um hey, what do you think? What would you do? Ah, that depends. You think the thing is, I I know green is the special Rolex color, blah, blah, blah. But you know, the only the only green that I get excited about is cash. See, our, our money is green. We call them greenbacks. Mm -hmm. Unlike that monopoly money shit you, you have, except for the except for, Except for the twenties, why does the twenty have sucker horns picture on it with the mustache? Anyway, I've never had a twenty. I've never had a twenty. I've never had a note that big. Normally, it's just coins and change that people care to donate. Occasionally, a five dollar bill. So, yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, and I. You see, oh, I mean, I yeah the 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 the. The Hulk, I, I got to be honest, the green leaves me cold. I mean, maybe it could be one of those things. Maybe you have to lay eye on it to see. And, you know, the Hulk might be in better investment over time. And the Hulk being all steel might hold up a little bit better. 
It also it also kind of depends upon the age of the. Uh, now uh, it might. I think it's time. What is your shocking announcement? What is the shocking announcement? No, I told you. I've got your. I got your air king. That's the shocking announcement. Oh, I, I was I, never that emotionally in, attached to it. Okay. Well, awesome. Well, I mean, anyway, you got to remember this. <laughs> Tell me this, Clivey. I, I, because that deal fell through because you burnt me, right? Uh, no, 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 no. Because you slow played a friend. No, I didn't slow pay. I, I gave you three hundred dollars U.S. deposit and said, "Hey, I'll have the rest very shortly." I said, "I may uh, need no, up no, no. to." First, you said two months. Then you had three months because you had no money. But then you had money to go out and buy two Brightlings at the same time. You know, so that was nah. after the deal collapsed. That was after. No, I, I'd already owned. No, no, just back the truck up, big boy. Back the, back truck, the truck up. up. No, 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 you need to back the truck up. So either I way, I didn't commit to the Air King until after I'd bought the first Brightling. So I bought it first. Then we did the bright. Then we did the the Air King deal. And when I when I went to this next Brightling, I sold one. That's that money was used to pay for the next Brightling. I didn't have. That's why I very quickly sold it and then i used that same funds to buy the the black one which i then sold to buy the sapphire sorry the ceramic bezel one but i will confess because you backed out of the deal so ungentlemanly oh i'm sorry i'm sorry yeah. you got did you get all your money back yeah. Do we want to talk yeah. about people backing yeah. out of deals and not yeah. getting their money back? Yeah, I, I think we yeah. could talk about that. Okay. We could talk about that right now. Yeah, yeah, I, I did get can... my money back instantly. As soon as it was no longer available, you did send the money back instantly. Thank I you. use I used that money to buy the Tudor, the Tudor Black Bay. So I'm going to say to myself, what would I prefer? Okay, guys, what would I prefer? Would I prefer a Tudor? Bing Tinier, $2. Happy New Year. Oh, thank God he's back. Get oh, Chinese New Year. Thank you so much. Happy Happy New Year to you too. Um, so I've got to tell you, what would I prefer? A 34 mil girl size Air King or, or a Tudor Black Bay Heritage with the new Tudor in-house movement? What would you prefer? Rolex! Rolex, Rolex, Rolex! Yep. Steel. Steel. That's, now, now here's, the, here's also the thing, though. There, now, the one, you know, th that reference, they also had Explorer dials. You know, like I said, even Cardinal Ving was really, he had, really had a serious heart, well, he had his heart set on a same reference model with the Salmon Explorer dial. Now, Salmon, yeah, you know, that would have been my last choice. But, you know, don't you think that, don't you think that uh, the, that same reference with the Black Explorer dial wasn't that? Wouldn't that be, in fact, a mini explorer of the same mm. of the reference? Because there'd be only two. There'd be only two millimeters difference between that and the the explorer one that they made at the same time. Would the dial fit that? No, no. They actually had Air King dial explorer dials. Oh yeah, that that was the Canadian Explorer one, the 5500, 5500. That was the Canadian Air King. That was the Explorer one. Air King, that was with the plastic uh, five five. Also, Archie, when, Archie, when and why did you sell the Patek World Time in the Gold Sub? Good oh, question. Okay, okay. Well, basically, what happened is, um, I sold the Gold Sub. You got to understand this. You people think I'm fucking full of money and loaded, and I have no, no, no. We don't. We don't think you're full of money. Okay, we I don't have. It's not money. Okay. It's definitely. I, I don't money. have twenty thousand. You are full of something. I don't have twenty thousand sitting in my bank account. So when I go from one high-end luxury watch to another, I've needed to have gotten my money back. So basically, what happened was that watch was stolen when I lent it to a guy, and he judge Jeff. Sorry, judge Jeff. We're not mentioning names, but basically, it you was stolen on the channel when it happened. It was stolen, and he very quickly he now, gave me. When you, when you made the announcement, you were making the phone call. Was Judge, Judge Jeff the one that gave you the hickey on the neck, or is that, or is that no, somebody else? No, 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 somebody else. That's different, different. Okay. So I got to tell you. So what happened was, 
the money came in and I actually, I got to tell you the truth. I actually rang my good friend uh, from Brisbane Vintage Watches, Vintage Watch Co. I rang Ronnie and said, Ronnie, I've just sold my gold sub. I didn't tell him that it was stolen by a prostitute, but I got my money. So that was the main thing. And I said, hey, do you have any? I wanted to buy a two-tone pre-ceramic bluesy. Okay. Yeah. He didn't have a good one in stock. He had one that was too expensive because it was a consignment piece. And then he had one that was he owned, but he said the condition's not perfect. So I said, well, I don't want it if it's not really nice. Why don't you tell him that you just give him so, $300 and you make the rest of it within two, then three, and then four months? What's that? Sorry, say that again. Why don't you give him $300 of his consignment piece and tell him that you just pay the rest within two, then three months? Okay. 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 <laughs> Sarcasm. Anyhow, he didn't have a two-tone bluesy, so I bought a white gold, a white gold world time. Now, the interesting thing is he didn't want to put this in the window because he already had a yellow gold world time. So I bought the white gold one. And you know what? I was just being a bozo on the channel. And I, I actually offered it for sale. Here's my back scratcher from the Sucker Horn. The Sucker Horn sent me this back scratcher. My back is itchy. So oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Any, yeah, middle-aged, hairy backs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so anyhow, what happened was then, guess what happened then? I sold the white gold, and I immediately bought the yellow gold one off him. Okay, Vintage Relics Watches reports that one of his clients has already offered him 3000 for the Air King, but he's keeping it. You will sell it for twenty five. you make making money, Clive. It's not that special a model. I mean, let's be honest, okay? I'm not trying to talk it down because but you, you fucked me over. You on the other hand, you I'm on the not other trying hand, to talk you down because you're, you're an internationally me. known, well, to, you're an internationally known YouTube celebrity, are you not? I don't know, Clive. All right. I don't know. But let me say this to you. Okay. The Air King is 34 mil. It is only a silver dial one. There, there was, there, there's no papers. There was no, pa had sticker on back, but no papers. Right. 2,000 bucks. Ooh, do I really want to own it? I tell you now, even if you did, if you were sensible and said, hey, do you want it? I probably would have well, no, said. I did. I already did, and David, I'm sorry, Vintage Relics Watches offered me 25, so I am very sensible. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I probably would have bought it too, actually, to be honest, if you just did a conversion. Yeah. Look, that's okay, Clivey. You keep it. Uh, no, no, I'm selling it. To, no, I'm not keeping it. I'm selling it. Okay. I, do it. I see. I've learned from the pond if I don't do shit for free anymore. No, you're a rancher. He's no longer a sheep. He's a rancher. We've unleashed the rancher. Yes, yeah, sell it. I mean, look, look, it's not a bad watch. It's beautiful, minty. They're, they're a nice thing. They are a beautiful thing. Do you really need it in your collection? Does it add anything? I still think you're a moron for selling the, uh, the Yachtmaster two-tone. I love that with the blue dial. That was a great piece. Okay, Archie. Why is Talentless Clive still on your show? Please don't have delusions of adequacy. Mickey Flanagan. Thank you, Mickey. Now, if anyone else wants to insult me, please super chat. Super generously. chat, $5 at least. And by the way, guys, if you want me to have a beer, I have a big can of Heineken is 15 US. You want me to drink a, a Heineken or have a scotch? Uh, please, please tip and uh, I will certainly consider it. If you want Archie to eat his own feces, please super chat at least $25 US. <laughs> yes, Clivey. So I got to tell you, Clivey. Um, Look, I'm, helping, I'm trying to help me make a buck, dude. Did you like my reboot of the channel with, with the Rolls Royce adverts, advertisements in there? Yeah, I noticed that. It's like, man, they are going to be pissed. <laughs> That's going to create YouTube scandal 2.0 <laughs> Rolls Royce. Oh, Tanzillan's just come back. No, sorry, Tanzillan. Okay, he's he's traveling. Sorry. Okay. All no, right. Thanks. Anyhow, well, that's uh, that was 
That was that was Tan Zillan just texting me there. Um, no. um, the juice man wants to know how much for you to go topless. Okay, twenty dollars super chat by James Man. Get drunk. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. I think. Uh, yeah, that's okay. We'll go for the beer. <laughs> Okay, Clovey. I'm 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 looking for it's a big can too, it's not one of the small cans. I thought you had to drink Foster from Australia. Isn't that a law or something like that? Oh no, I don't I don't drink domestic beer. Ah. Actually, you know, know something? Because of the, the high labor costs in Australia, you know our Aussie beer is the same price as imported beers? Because our labor rates are so high. So I'd much rather drink Heineken than I would Fasters. You know what I'm saying? Cheers, yep. fuckers! Cheers, fuckers! Have a beverage with Archie. You want to see the? Uh, you want to see the 1630 when it comes in? I think that's a beautiful watch. All oh jokes God, aside. Yeah. All jokes all aside. Time. Yeah. Mm. I really, I really do think that's a very, very sensible buy. I think you're an idiot to sell the yacht master. I love the blue dial. I don't know why you fucking sold it. I I, I don't fucking get it. I I that was a beautiful minty watch. I don't know why you'd sell that. Did you love it? I thought it was it was growing on me. I actually liked it. I actually liked it. So you, you really liked it. Five five. You paid for it. No no no. Five even. That was a bargain. Yeah, it was. I wouldn't have sold it, but anyhow, you, that doesn't matter. The rancher doesn't listen to me anymore. The rancher, he doesn't listen. He does what he wants. Oh, yeah. I guess I'll just have to stuff my pillow with money. Cry myself to sleep. By the way, are you able what? to? Do you? I guess. I guess. How do, do you? I guess you really can't sleep on your side, huh? <laughs> Tell me this. What happened with the Patek? You were looking at a Patek. What's happened to the Patek? I haven't heard Diddley back on it. But if did I was going to get a, Patek, did you ring him up and I, tell him to fuck off now? Now what's what's the point? What's what's if I was going to get a Patek anyway? It would probably be a Calatrava. Start simple. Don't Start listen smart. to fuck knuckle. Don't listen to fuck knuckle. I hope you're not saying that because you've spoken to fuck knuckle. He's just, I don't think his advice is pure as you think. He gets a bit, I think he gets a bit funny at times. Turn the lights That's off, Clyde. Hide under the bed. What? Turn nice. the lights off, Clyde. Hide under the bed. No, no, you see, you hear police sirens. I hear cast register bells. Uh, so exactly. what else is happening in your world? Tell me what else you're doing. What else can you, you can please spruik your shit you want to sell? Spruik this shit. It's like the Dr. Phil show. We spruik stuff. So you got the president, president eight and a half. Yep. What else are you I'm, selling? I'm thinking the blues, the two tone, the purple sub, the 16803. Yeah, yeah I, I would probably sell that. How much you want for that? Seven, seven US. Seven US. That could be. That's that's it, it's purple. That's a, it's, it's purple. Aged. It's it's purple. It's aged. They only made that reference for four years. It's a sixteen eight sixteen eight oh three. Right, four years. And uh, what else do you want to sell? What about the Milgauss? Do you want to sell the Milgauss? No, I want to keep the Milgauss. The Milgauss. And here's and here's the thing, really. The Milgoss is quirky. It's kind of weird. It's off the beaten path. That's kind of me. How about honest. any of those shitters, those no-name shitter watches you've bought? Are you going to sell any of those? Yeah, actually. What are you going to sell? The Hoya you wanted seven thousand for the 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 triple date? No, not seven thousand. That'd be uh, no. That's not, that's not getting insane. No, no. That's no. It's not. Um. Can I tell you an idea I was been having? Okay. What's that? Archie Luxury Premium. Okay. Okay. Archie Luxury Premium. I'm going to take a, a photo of each of my watches, the eight 
I got eight watches at the moment. I'm going to take a photo of each of them. I'm going to put the serial wait, number. Wait, wait. wait, you have all, you have eight watches? I have eight watches. I'm going to take a please, photo. Please super chat generously. This poor man only has eight watches. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and what I'd like to do is I'm going to take a photo of each of them, put the serial number and model number. Plus, I will be signing it, acknowledging that I've owned it, and I'm going to sell them at a premium. Archie oh, yeah, Luxury Premium. What do you think of that as an idea? You mean the idea I told you like a year and a half ago? That idea? Hey, Is yes, that... that's the one. I think it's no, it's no, it's not a good idea. Don't do it. So I was going to sell them all. You know what I want to buy, Clivey? What's that? I want to get rid of everything and get a five one seven zero. A manual novelist? wind, manual wind, okay. manual wind paddock chronograph. Nice. Ah, why not? That way, it would. Yeah, it would collect. It would do at least a couple of boxes. Okay. Arch, another twenty dollars for five full shots of scotch. Okay, James Mann, you are taking enabling to a whole new level. Okay, five we'll, shots of scotch. Five, another twenty. Okay, okay, we can do that. We can do that. I might. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can do that. I can do that. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. It's not a problem, guys. Did you? What did you think of the latest videos? I've been rebooting the channel. Did you? What did you think? I, I like. I like. I like the suit. I like in front of the bookcase. I it like looks that. Classy. Yeah. But you know, it you looks, know, the room is it still looks, a pigsty, of course. Oh yeah. Yeah. Don't don't get too don't get too excited. The room is still a a bit of a pit tip. That's an improvement. Okay. Start. Oh, jeez. Okay. That sounds. That's absolutely. Let me go and get it. Let me go and get it. Okay. Vintage. Vintage Rolex watches. Um, you know, since you're paying me twenty five hundred bucks, I'll give you a free one here. AC AC three should have never sold his white gold Calatrava. His I got watches. Can I make a confession? What? You know how I've got this this little blue label bottle. Yes. Someone called me out, and they were a hundred percent right. I refill it with red label. <laughs> Okay, I, 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 I refill it with red label. That's one shot. Oh, fuck, that red label's nasty. Let me keep Here, get another. Beer. Okay, James, send. Yeah, ch okay, chase it with a beer. Oh, that's what I was about to suggest. This is not a. This is not. This is not. Look at that. I'm going to measure it. You can measure how much I'm drinking. Okay. How can we measure how much you're drinking? It goes <sighs> down. That's two shots. Ooh, starting to go to my head now. Hey fuckers! Hey fuckers! Hmm. Hey, baby. That's two. That's two. Let me just keep working on this. I don't want to drink too. I, I got to just slow down. Otherwise, I will vomit, Clive. I got okay. three more. Guys, $50 if you want to see AC3 vomit. <laughs> Clive, slow down there, Clive. The <sighs> well, think about it. Then they'll have to pay another $20, $20 for you to super chat, another $20 for you to drink again. You actually, it's it's a hell of a, and also it'll help whiten your teeth. Yes, that's right. It does. Also, vomiting inhibits horn growth. Ah! I read it in the American. Three, that's uh, three shots. I'm just going to slow down a bit. Slow down. Slow down. Clivey, I want to tell you a few home truths if you don't mind. Sure. You're going to follow. Are you going to follow? Up? Rancher, I want to talk to the rancher. Can I please talk to the rancher? Yeah, go ahead. Rancher, 
I got to tell you the truth. I'm uh, wait, really... wait. Super chats. Super chats. <laughs> James Mann, fifty dollars vomit. <laughs> <laughs> James, man, you're my new favorite, man. I gotta be honest, James. You okay? Also, while you're vomiting, how how much to get Archie ten out of ten drunk? I think we're moving that way already. We're moving that way. Just slow down. Back the fucking truck up, you sons of bitches. And I want to show you, I offer authenticity. I'm going to crush this can so that you guys know I've really drunk in it, okay? Crush it on your horns. Mm. No, no, no. You'll Cheers, save, save the, fuckers! I haven't save the rest. yet. I got, I got okay, to have another save, shot. Save the rest to chase down the other two shots. Ah, fuck, that red label is nasty. You know that? I'll tell you what, next time... I'm going to use something a little bit more decent, you know? Clivey, I wanted to tell you this, right? Right. Don Haynes, Don Haynes, Don Haynes. Don Haynes, Don Haynes, Don Haynes. Don Haynes, Don Haynes. Don Haynes. You don't think I've drunken. I mean, you don't think I'm fucking taking swigs. You look at this fucking, look at the label. I'm fucking down below there. Look at that. I'm fucking been swigging. <laughs> Fuck. Just to me, to me, calm down, Clive. I gotta have a beer you, chaser. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. You belched for free. You belched for free, man. That's that's revenue gotta, right there. I gotta tell you the truth there, Clivey. I wanna tell you some home truths now that I'm completely I wanna tell you a few home truths, okay? The horns are falsies? No, I wanna tell you some few home truths, okay? Yeah. I'm angry at you for a number of things, Clive. Okay. I I think it was ungentlemanly of you not to offer me that air king again. Uh, that was ungentlemanly of you not to offer me that air king. Okay. I'm just saying it was poor form, okay? Okay. I just want to let you know that I'm disappointed in you, okay? Check. Duly noted. Got it. Awesome. The other thing is, Clive, I think you realistically, I want to talk about your collection, right? Yeah. Get rid of some of those fucking no-name shitters you've bought lately. They really irritate me. Like, what are, what are the no-name ones? Those fucking, those chronographs, the divers. What about... What about what? Are you saying Zodiac is a no name? Yes, yeah, garbage. Absolute garbage, Clive. I want you to fucking clean up your shit there, okay? Tell, tell me this realistically, right? Do you see how the red dot goes round and round oh, and actually, round? Actually, that is so. Actually, I got to be honest with yeah, you. I, it's I cool. Fucking mystery dial, mystery dial. I'm torn between a rock and a hard place. Do you think I should sell some things off myself? Well, yeah, I want to buy a Lang A1, Clive. I want a Lang A1. I'm lusting after a Lang A1, okay? I understand that. I well, really... But, okay. But why not, you could, besides the Lang A1, though, mm. I think you could get one that then you can compare and contrast it with the Glashuta original. Ah, I fucking hate that. It just looks like so, so wannabe if you could be, you know? So you're saying it's the you're saying it's the TGV of uh, Glashuta? There we go. Gone, fuckers, gone. Gone, fuckers. Okay, now what about the vomit? You were paid fifty dollars to vomit. Hey, fuckers, I tell you what, one thing for sure is, you know, one thing for sure is, Clivey, that, you know, ranchers, ranchers, you're a rancher, you want, you, you're a rancher yourself, aren't you? 
Well, actually, I'm descended from farmers, but we did do some ranching on the side. Ah! Okay, I want to say to you, Clivey, what other Ooh, garbage Ooh, are you Ooh, considering? Ooh. What other garbage are you considering? Tell me this. <laughs> what other garbage are you considering, oh. Clive? Oh, someone, Jay Halls, he paid you $5 for the belt so you didn't belch for free. Oh, thank you so much there. What other garbage are you considering, Clive? <clears throat> I'm just on the lookout for whatever is out there, actually. You know, and Lee Howard wants to know, Lee Howard, if you want to know, if you want to ask him how Scotty's urine tastes, Lee Howard, you'll have to super chat. Sorry, we have we have standards. Admittedly, very low standards, but we have standards. Um, you know, Clivey, if someone super chatted twenty dollars, I could drink another beer. You know, another beer. I got another Heineken. Heineken in the fridge. You were you were trying to you were trying to pretend to be slur fake Slur. Drunk. I, yeah. I, I don't think I'm pretending, Clivey. <laughs> Fuck me dead. Whew, I got a sore tummy. Clivey, I want to talk to you about watches. You know what? I, I want to ask you something. What do you think of the new Vacheron 56? Do you know what the Vacheron 56 is? Yeah, I've, I've kept uh, up with it. I've been... I've, uh, damn. It was $5 super chat. No, no. He paid you for the belt. You see, you blew it again. You could have belched again. Wow. Wait, did you fart just now? Yeah, I don't know, Clive. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I want to ask well, you, what, is, what do you think of this? What do you think of the bright, the Vacheron 56? Okay. You know whoa, whoa, what I whoa, fucking whoa. think? You know what I think? I think these cheap. $20 super chat. $20 super chat. Drink more, Archie. You're the man. Drink more. Another beer. Another beer. Um, well, you know, I hate to, I hate to say it, but whenever they say affordable, even as long I as I've been doing, I fucking hate that. Those fucking sons of bitches. You know who owns Vacheron? A bunch of fucking stingy South African fucking sons of bitches. They are nasty fucking sons of bitches. That's what they are. They are nasty. Do you know how? Do you know who? How? Do you know who else? Hates the Vacheron 56. Who's that? Take a drink and I'll tell you. Don Haynes. Why is that? It's cheap and affordable. Vacheron's not supposed to be cheap and affordable. Fuck me dead. This is a no, high-end a... brand, you fucking shitters. No, he think he almost looks at it from the opposite way because he thinks it's over even that's overpriced for what you're getting. He talks about well, the lack of it. Look at this here. This is this is the cheap model. It's sixteen thousand dollars. Look at this. Eleven thousand. Eleven thousand seven hundred. Look at this, Clivey. I mean, yeah. it is it is a good looking watch. I I I'll be honest with you. I think it is very fucking sexy. So are plenty of fashion watches. What's your point? But look okay. at this. I got to Here's a question. Here's a question. Is this yeah. the Vacheron? Um, fashion watch this is the vacheron breguet type 20 it doesn't well okay you know the type Our 20 you know the type 20 is or not that's the poor man's breguet isn't it you tell me do you yeah. agree or not is the breguet is the breguet a proper super chat breguet? five dollars uh senior bill 67 now now senior bill i think basically tanzil is is basically sending you money via PayPal, 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 and uh, sending you the questions. But we'll try it. Archie, would you let fudge packing, fudge packing Mark Goldberg, cornhole you raw, raw dog for ten minutes and shoot his gay sperms all over your fat floppy man boobs? For how much? Okay, no, he didn't. He didn't say. It's no. Just, would you? No, no, I okay. wouldn't. Unless, unless you're paying. Unless you gave me a Lang A1, I'll do anything. No. And also, vintage va Rolex watches. I'm changing watch change! Fuckers, I'm changing watches. You know what I'm putting on now, Clivey? What? I'm thinking of putting the Tudor on. What do you think of the Tudor? It's all right. 
That's the watch that I bought because you fucking piked on me, you son of a bitch. You mean that I allowed you to get since I, yeah. Yeah, since you don't have to, since you, you know. You really, admit, you yeah. really fucking, I'll tell you the you. truth. Yeah, I don't I know what to you. you really disappoint me, Clivey. Now, wait a minute. Okay, now, Clivey, I've got to tell you this. Actually, I quite like the Tudor. To be honest with you, I'm glad I didn't buy that fucking girl watch. You know that, to tell you the truth? I'm in mixed, I'm in two minds about the things. You know this? Well, I, I think it would have looked good on you. I, I don't know whether I should be grateful or angry at you. What do you think? Whatever gets you the most super chats. Yeah, i, I got to tell you the truth. The Tudor... That's the rancher's way of, ans of answering the question. Yes. Yes. I'm thinking about seeing a skin dermatologist in the future. No, no, don't, don't, don't do that. No, 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 that's your, that's your brand. Oh, I see. You, 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 you can't get rid of them now. It's, it's like, it's part of you. I mean, it's, it's part of the brand. I mean, it's, it's like that girl in Dirty Dancing. You know, she had a facelift and no one employed her anymore. You know, Jennifer Gray. Jennifer Gray. And she, she, um, she was cool with Patrick Swayze, but then she had the surgery. She didn't look this with that big nose, that big fucking honker of a nose, don't you think? Well, yeah, she's like, yeah, uh, she's kind of like the she's like like the angry chick in the back of the class of high in the back who sits in the back in the class of high school that you knew she'd be a freak. You know, the funny thing is, it's the girls with those big honkers who have the most amazing, amazing bodies. You know that? Their breasts, their breasts and their lady bits, the pink bits, are absolutely gorgeous. You know that, don't you? I don't think I've really dated women with big noses, though. So. <laughs> okay. It, 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 it's a, you probably wouldn't. It, it's a, look, I got to tell you the truth there, Clivey. Um, I got to tell you the truth. I'm thinking about selling most of my watches off. Okay. Yeah, and take yeah. What do you think and, of that? I want to buy yeah, a. Thanks. I want to buy a Lange. What would you buy? What would you buy if you were me? What would you buy? I got to be international. What must I keep? Tell me that. I want to ask you that. What must no, no, I no, keep? No, 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 no. Here's here's the okay. The rev really the reverse is about the only thing I could think of. The rest of them. The rest, yeah, the rest of them flip. You reckon? Yeah. And, and here's and here's why. You get yeah. one, you start at the bottom because you've got you've got the higher end horology experience, and then someone with higher end horology experience goes into mid level watches and examines them. Mm hmm. And get, rid of the the Greiling, get rid of the Tudor. Is that what you're saying to me? Sell them off? Yeah. Okay. Jay Hall's the horns are like cr the crown to the Rolex. Yeah, it's it's part of the it's part of the Archie Luxury brand. So don't have you, them cut off. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Well, just like the rest of us, watch them grow. I don't know what then I should do, do Clive. I want to really sell my watches off and buy a fucking. Amazing piece. I, I would say, kind of, I'd say almost doing what you're doing with the Brightlings and the Tudors, because we know you're going to get them, pump them, and then dump them like a Thai lady boy. So, or sex worker, or someone who's in the Thai arts. But I'm saying, but here, but here's the thing, though. Here's how you would bring a lot to the table, though. Mm, tell me, tell me. Because unlike someone with no horological experience. Because you could look at Vacheron, the 56, and say what's wrong with it and why it's a ripoff, right? Yeah. You could do the same thing with the mid-level mid level brands and work your way up and say which one of the mid-level ones. It's just like, you know, I mean, this is crap, this is crap. This one's actually pretty good, and here's why. And then pump and dump, sell each one, and work your way up the food chain. What do you reckon I should get? I personally, I th well personally, 
Oh, by the way, you haven't vomited yet. You owe some. You owe uh, James Man fifty bucks to vomit. Ah, it's coming. Don't worry, it's coming. I can feel it. It's coming, James. Don't worry, it is coming. Believe Fries me. Of males. Let okay. me get a pizza. Let me get a pizza. Anyone want to order a Domino's pizza for me? James Man two dollars. A pepperoni James. pizza would be very, very cool about now. Okay, and you would eat how much for you to eat the entire pizza on camera? Keep in mind, you'd also have to throw in the cost of the pizza before you came up with the figure. 50 bucks. But then again, you were all I had food. to get it delivered because I can't pick it up because I'm completely shit faced now. I've drunk in two, I've almost drunk in two beers and uh, I've drunk in half a bottle of scotch. Half a bottle of scotch I've drunk in. Look at that. It's fucking gone. And uh, I, I could eat the pepperoni. Pepperoni on camera. I could only eat half because the kids want the other half. But not pepperoni. What's wrong with pepperoni? Well, no, no, no. Here's what. No, no. You're okay. You're 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 selling yourself short here. You need to get enough. Say, look, if you want me to eat the whole pizza, you have to get a super chat enough for me to get two pizzas, one for the kids and then a separate oh, one just for me. Okay. That way, the kids get free lunch, and you know you get yeah, the point. Yeah, sounds right? good, Clivey. So, how much would you need super chat for you to go eat a whole pizza? Keep it, and for you to get the I whole need pizza, fifty bucks. Okay. And that would be enough for you to get two pizzas, one for you and one for the kids. Exactly, because the kids are hungry, you know? Yes. Uh, $10 from Woodville. Okay. Now, does it have to be all at once or if everyone does ever? Oh, no, Mark we Goldman. Collect collectively, collectively, we can put money in. That's fine. So Ten dollars so far. I need forty dollars more, and we're going to get the two fucking pizzas. Uh, Mark Goldberg, do you want to chip in anything for the uh, pizza fund? Imp no, important. No, 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 no. You can't. No, you really can't say it, forget the kids because the kids, I don't know if you. Kids. You know they will. They will smell the pizza. They will They'll come for the, the pizza. pizza. They, they will pizza. see the dominoes. They will see the dominoes or whatever the hell it is. Do you come actually on, have dominoes? Come on, more dollars, and I'll get the fucking pizzas. Uh, Clemson, Clemson Lum at ninety eight wants how much to blow Mark Goldberg? On? You can't do no, that, guys. No, That's you illegal. Can't. I, I get. I, I lose my channel, and my channel is worth more to me. There's ten dollars. We got twenty dollars. Twenty twenty. We got $20. five dollars. Okay, we need twenty-five more fucking pepperoni. Let me let me just take. I just go. Let me just go and take a. I'll be back in one minute. Okay, I was going to ask the kids what flavor they want. I'll be back in a minute. You cover me, Clive. All right, guys. All right, so. Uh. You know, I was, I was kind of wondering what he thought what the surprise announcement was going to be. Like it was going to be on TGV or something. But yeah, he actually took a lot better than I thought he would. I'm I'm, I'm actually faintly disappointed. Tried to send more. Card was declined. Well, James, yeah, you know, they probably they probably thought that your card was stolen by Asian luxury boys when they said you know favors for archery luxury. Show the air king. Okay. I will not show my Air King again. I will show vintage Rolex watches. Okay, wait. I get no. If you wait, Lee, I gotta see what the hell Lee's saying because if you're grossing Mark Goldberg out, I gotta see what the hell you're talking about. Screw Ethereum mingering, e begging. He's just hurt. He's just method acting. Well, the trouble is, yeah. You know, you know, I know he gives me shit about the camera, but on times like this, I wish I had a better camera. And, you know, this is actually with decent lighting here. I'm actually in front of a makeup table with like six LED lights. So literally, the only way it was brighter, it'd be brighter in front of this camera if it were Hollywood. But, yeah, you know, and you could tell it's a 14,000M because that sticker is 
pretty darn minty. Uh, I've used them. So, okay, five dollars. Arts, would you jack off pipe? Okay. Ah, fuck it, Clivey. Thirty-five. We're thirty-five. Thirty. We're thirty-five. I had a talk also, to the kids. You know, you know, you know, those fucking kids said to me. What? Ah, oh, we're not going to have pizza capers. I said, "What's wrong with Domino's?" I had a fight with Domino's yesterday. I don't know if I told you this. No. Yeah, I fucking had a go at them, okay? Because they got a thing called the New Yorker. It's a big pizza. I said it's a fucking ripoff. I wrote to them and told them it was a ripoff. Okay. Um, why is it a I got ripped it off? A... Okay. I got why ripped off. A... I got ripped off, Clive. Five dollar super chat. Archie, would you jack off butt pirate Mark Goldberg and one of his gay dogs at the same time for a ceramic gold sub? Yeah. Ooh, I don't like yeah. to get animals. I don't want to hurt animals. No. No. I well, don't no. I, I, Should I get a garlic you, bread? Can well, I get a press on the buttons now? Do I get a garlic bread? Yes or no, Clive? Yes. I got a voucher. I got a voucher. Clive, I got a voucher. Clive, I got a voucher. Let me just claim a voucher. You know a voucher? You mean a coupon? Coupon. Fuck yes. You betcha. I got to fuck it. I got to do everything I can. Save money, Clivey. You, uh, of course. You know, yeah. You know what I but mean? I realize that also. Okay. So, but you still need $50. Oh, you still need $50 fucking, to do it, right? Fuck me, Dad. These cunts. What are they doing to me? $5. Gee, what the fucking cunts are. Fuck me, Dad. What are these sons of bitches? I can't. Two pizzas, garlic. Well, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck. Lee Howard, uh, yeah, I think I think the bomb... Well, that's, that, that's not going to work. Let's fuck those lousy sons of bitches. Um, okay, we've got a pep two pepperonis. Pepperonis and a garlic bread. Dan, I'm ordering the pizzas now, okay? Nice. How much do we need more? How much more do we need? $25. Now, you weren't able to use the vouchers, right? No, because I, 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 no, the vouchers suck. The vouchers are dis. I, I had a fight with Domino's yesterday. Did I tell you this or not? No, you were going to. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what I said because I'm completely shit faced. I had a fight with Domino's, right? Right. They're a bunch of cunts, okay? Let me tell you this now Domino's are not your fucking friend, okay? I'm just pressing the order. Come on. Okay, it's ready at 12.24. Oh. Okay, here we I had a fight with Domino's, okay? Wait, me... it's 11.12 there now, right? Yeah. It takes them a freaking hour? No, no. 15 minutes will be ready. Okay. Uh, I'll be getting it delivered because I can't leave the live show, Clive. You get funny. Clive gets funny. The rancher gets funny, okay? I, 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 okay, this is what I said to Domino's. Can I tell you what I said to Domino's? Yeah. Well, what if I invite someone else I said on Domino's. Not exactly. Okay, this is what I said to Domino's, right? I said to Domino's, um, I said to them, I said to them, I said, this is, this, they're a bunch of cunts. I don't know if you know this. Do you know, you know Domino's are a bunch of cunts or you don't know that? Um, no, not really. Okay, I said to them, I said to them, not, I, I complained to them about the New Yorker. Not exactly. They came back to me and said, thank you for providing your feedback. We will pass this on to marketing and product development team for consideration. I said to them, not exactly the fucking reply I was expecting. You should refund half of the New Yorker price to me. Please refund half the money to my PayPal account, archieluxury72 at gmail.com. You people should be ashamed of yourself for the New Yorker range. Absolute ripoff. I'll be telling everyone what a ripoff New Yorker range is. By the way, I'm a YouTube celebrity with over 50 million views. Very disappointed with you clowns in PR. Archie Luxury. P.S. I want half my money back. What do you think what of that? What'd they say? What'd they say? They told me to get fucked. That's what they said to me. Told me to fuck off. They said... They don't give refunds after you've eaten the pizza. What a bunch of cunts. What a bunch of fucking cunts they are. What a fucking bunch of cunts. 
Now, what do you like better, New York pizza or Chicago style pizza? Uh, New York is fucking. I could get two pepperonis. This is this is the whole point. I had a argument okay. with them. Okay, you could get two normal pan pepperonis for five dollars each, ten dollars. The New Yorker is sixteen dollars. It's a fucking ripoff. Okay, it's a fucking ripoff, Clive. Well, yeah, and the thing is, you know, do you like thick crust pizzas? Or yes. Do you like I'm going to eat this cunt on on air. I'm going to eat this son of a bitch on air. I've ordered it already. Do, do you want me to get the pizza or you don't? Yeah. Come on, you pizza. son of a bitch. How short are we to go? How short are we, Clive? Tell me how fucking short um, we are. $15. What? 15 We have 15 left. Come on, you fucking lousy sons of bitches. I will eat this cunt on air. Come on, you fucking sons of bitches. Come on. Look, guys, do you want look, do you guys want to see Archie vomit or not? Come on. I want to eat this pizza. I'm gonna eat this fucking cunt by myself. You know that, don't you? Yes. I want to talk watches. I want to talk pizza. I want to do it on the Archie. This is the Paul Pluto Prestige channel. Come on, you fucking sons of bitches. $15 more and it's done. The ratings are going down, by the way. We're, oh, here we go. Fifth fucking Vintag. Eat up, big boy. Okay. How about add a bucket of chicken? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay how much for the bucket? This camp's this camp C deliver. No, 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 they don't. I'm just, let me just be one minute there. You cover me for two minutes. I am going to oh. organize this pizza now. It's going to be here in 10 minutes, Clivey. Just one minute. Okay, cannot, PKD cannot handle the prestige. And uh, vintage, I'll wear the watch for a few more minutes, if you don't mind, just so you can see it before you buy. KFC deliveries now? Well, okay. Maybe not. Two garlic breads. Don't they have Uber Eats out there? I don't know. I mean, I, I'm, I got shares on KFC. I know shit. Uber Eats should deliver. I want to see KFC on top. Of the, ooh, KFC on top of the pizza? Okay, yeah. Gravy and chicken pizza. I know a girl whose party trick is to deep throat a beer bottle. <laughs> Bring the... Bring on the grease, bring on the funk. <laughs> um. Come on, what the hell? I'm trying to. Sorry. I'm trying to do stuff. I realize I've got dead air because I'm trying to work the. Oh, Archie is eating the Daniel Wellington pizza. Pay pay for KFC on the pizza. How about a nice Taco Bell pizza? <laughs> um, that will bring views. Twenty five fifty for Archie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, crappy watches and cheap fours. Okay. Hello, Clivey. You, How are you? You ready? You ready? You ready for make some real money? Yes. Crappy watches. Uh, I love that. You're not even asking what it is, but sure. Crappy watches and cheap pours. Two hundred fifty dollars for Archie. Shuring ob the toilet. Bonus fifteen dollars per fart. Ooh, now you think about it because if you if you're careful with the camera angle, yes. you could take it in the bathroom and, and you can film it. You could you could why, film why, it. Totally. Why do people dislike the Jews? You know, seriously, I really love Jewish men. You know this. Well, 
I know you're really, gay. But... I really, I gotta tell you the truth. I've got so many Jewish friends. They're fucking cool. They're cool fuckers. They are really cool. I don't know why people are anti Semitic. Why are they anti Semitic? Um, I got some really cool Jewish friends. They're the coolest people you'll ever know. Yeah, but actually, yeah, usually very well educated, usually a bit on the liberal. Oh, that probably explains it. Never mind. Yes, they are on the liberal side. I, I, I honestly, oh, I love, yeah. I love Jewish gay men. You know that? I, we, I just, I just answered your question. I, 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 they're just cool. Oh. They're really, really cool guys. I got so many. They're, they're, they're winners. They're winners in society. You know that? Oh yeah, actually. Now. 250, 250. Oh, uh, and also, and don't, also, please do not end the live cast before you vomit. Yes. Um, okay. I, I, I don't know how this, I'm going to have this pizza. I want it. They wanted me to eat a pizza on air. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. And, and then also vomit. You've already been paid $50 to vomit. Okay. Yeah. Mark what Goldberg says, the only Mark, Goldberg, yes. Mark Goldberg says, ha. What's a mukbang channel? I don't understand that. No idea. Um, eat chat. Okay, wait a minute. I got to look this up. Mukbang. I never heard of this shit before. We're just, we're just normal. Too damned old. Mukbang is an online audiovisual broadcast in which a host eats large quantities of foods while interacting with their audience. Usually done through an internet webcast, mukbang became popular in South Korea in the 2010s. Foods ranging from pizza and noodles are consumed to camera. Huh. Oh, sounds cool. Actually, it's what you're doing with the pizza because they're eating you to, they're paying you to eat a whole, oh my, yeah, okay. So, and in fact, well, James, man, we're paying $20 or we're paying him $50 to eat a whole pizza online and drink large amounts of alcohol. So we kind of, we kind of already are a mukbang channel, if you want to think about it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No one paid you for that, motherfucker. You don't do, no, you don't do shit for free. You don't do shit for free. You do not do shit for free. No, put it down. Hey, someone's joining in. Hey, we got a friend. Look. Hey, it's, it's Cardinal Ving from the Community College of Cardinals. How you doing? I'm good. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching this uh, spectacle. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. So, Vin, what do you, what do you think about vintage Rolex watches, uh, Air Cane? I want one. I I, I want a. Uh, uh, well, I mean, I, I guess yours doesn't really count as a vintage one, does it? Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. Well, it's 2004, but you know, 34. It's kind of the classic style of it, though, yeah. doesn't? Yeah, you're right. Well, it's new vintage. Yeah. It's like brand new vintage, new original stock vintage almost. No, I, I like a lot. And for me, I, I know you said that you, you you didn't really like the salmon dial. I love the salmon dial. The way that it isn't a light, because you know, in the in sort of low light, it's sort of like um, like a bronze color, and then in the light, it's you know a really bright salmon color. I think it's great. Nice. So, okay, so you've been so you've been looking at the uh, uh, you've been looking at the fifteen thirty or the the sixteen thirty? No, the sixteen. Which one? The fifteen thirty, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted a um, uh, a fifteen thirty, but they're they're so rare, and and they're not yeah. cheap either. I mean, it's it's like Five ten. Fingers. The, yeah, yeah, five figures minimum. It's like you could buy a ten sixteen for that money. Although if I had to, that would be a really tough choice between a fifteen thirty and a ten sixteen because a fifteen thirty, I mean, it's it's fucking cool. That would be actually, yeah, that would be. Well, I don't know. I I think it kind of depends. I actually think I think the fifteen thirty. I mean, uh, the fifteen thirty would be the better choice because. That is even that's okay. The this, the the four digit uh, explorer is for watch nerds. Yeah, but I I'd say the fifteen thirty is for even it's like the inner sanctum. It's the holy the holiest of holies of watch nerds. Yeah. 
If yeah, because I mean, you don't know unless you really, um, you have to know exactly what you're looking for. Otherwise, you would you wouldn't even think it's special. You see, I've never even heard of that. How's the volume? Your yeah, volume's fine on my end, at least. Okay. Well, and like I said, I, I came across the 1630 when I was in Arlington, and uh, it looked like a uh, oyster quartz, but the, you know, I was like expecting the dial to you know do the yeah, tweet, but just did the normal sweep. Yeah, I'm getting some feedback on my end. Yeah, so am I. Two dollars super chat. Ving, do you like White Castle Spider? Uh, well, I mean, it, you have to get to a certain level of, of drunk before that's okay. But once you're at that level, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Max Brenner, that's pretty good. Let me turn down my volume. I think that's Ving's thinking volume. volume. You got you to mute down to the live show because of the... Feedback. 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 Are we getting feedback? Well, I'll. Feedback. I'll, 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 I'll be you right see, back. The, the, Whatever happened to Chinaman Chomp? Remember Chinaman? Now I got, I've ordered the pizza. It's coming. Do you really want me to eat this thing on air? You have been paid. You no, know, sir. You have been paid to both eat the entire pizza and then vomit. Okay, I don't know. But we'll have to, okay, we'll have to work on the vomit because you know one pizza. We'll just see how we go. Okay. All right, Clivey. I wanted to talk to you about something personal. What's oh dear God? What? I want to talk to you about something personal. Should I be getting rid of my watches and buying one yeah, super? I think so. Super, yeah. I, I think so. I think so because here's I mean, sell them all off. Yeah. Excuse me, sorry. Um, there we go, Vin Ten Yang. He's in here. Hey, Vin yes. Teng, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Hey, what do you think of the idea? I sell all my watches off and get one super fuck off watch. Um, uh, disagree. Uh, disagree. 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 I mean, actually, disagree. for a normal person, that might be okay, but you're a flipper. And, but uh, I mean, I want to get like it. a five one seven zero. What do you think of that as an idea? Yeah, I mean that's. Have a you seen many one of those in the real in the flesh? Have you seen a five one? I've never seen anyone wear a five one seven zero. Is that cool or not? Is it a cool watch? Yeah, it is a cool watch. Is it cooler than the world time? But then, got? Okay, but 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 okay. Let's let's stop and let's think about this. Let's think this through. Yes. If you were like a CEO, bear with me, okay? If you if you had a normal jarb. Or did something, or it's like, oh, and all you did was just look at your watch and time things. That's fine. On the other hand, you have a watch review channel. Yeah. So people are mad because you were talking about the Archie Four and the Archie Five and Six, Seven, Eight, over and over and over and over and over again because you're not. They're like, yeah. you know, um, you know, the standard the standard joke is I want to I want to ask. I want to ask. I want to send Archie. Ask Archie for watch advice. Please send at least twenty dollars to ArchieLuxury72 at gmail.com and be prepared to wait anywhere from four to six weeks to be told to buy a Polar Explorer or Man on the Fucking Moon. Thank you. But <laughs> let's 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 begin. <laughs> Sorry, I'm let, it might correct me if I'm wrong. Any any time, really. But dear Archie. I, please, I'm looking at the following watches. Please do not say Explorer 2. I see. Well, I think you should get a... Okay. Anyway, beside the point. I think if you were to start mid-tier and get into more watches that more people can look at... Wait. No, no, no. You're not getting paid. You're not getting paid. You're I doing it for free. I was paid to drink this. I was paid to drink this. No, you okay. weren't. You weren't. You weren't. You, okay. Sorry, it's a little sip. I was thirsty, okay? I was thirsty. Okay, I you see what you're saying. This, you might want to look in this new drink they have called water. 
Yeah, it's four dollars a bottle. Ouch. You reckon I should, I should be drinking water too, shouldn't I? Because I'm about to vomit. You know that I should be drinking some water. You know that. I should be drinking water as well, there, Clyes. Yep. I got this pizza coming. I got a pizza coming, and I need to eat this son of a bitch. Okay. Didn't you say yes. that the pizzas were five dollars each? You betcha. You and betcha. You asked what? For $50. No. <laughs> you never <laughs> miss court. You a communist? Are you a communist? I'm not a communist. Are you a communist? No, I live in a communist country. Kind of looks like no, I, I basically kind of look, looks like Chairman Mao. Look, I got to be honest with you. That's true. They're five dollars each, but that that's not delivered. That's pickup. I can't do a pickup because I'm completely shit faced. I mean, I have a feeling that delivery fee is a little bit less than $40, but, you know. No, well, the, the, well, the thing is, the part is, was to actually, someone basically said, hey, would you do a mukbang video? Then I looked up the definition of mukbang video. It's like, we actually kind of are doing a mukbang video. When exactly. You think about it. Exactly. Right. Change, the, uh, change the video title um, once we're done. Yes, I will. I will. It, it's shocking announcement. Shock the rancher. Clive is a rancher. He doesn't want to be a sheep. He wants to be a rancher. Did you know that? That's why he's got his own channel going. He's growing his own set of balls, you know? Aren't you, Clive? Oh, I've already grown them, son. I've grown them. <laughs> that's, that's the best thing about getting me shit-faced is I start saying things that I normally wouldn't say. He's growing know? his own set of horns, not his own set of yeah. balls. Oh. And, and i got to <laughs> tell okay. you something. Okay. okay, Cardinal. That was a good one. That was good. <laughs> there is okay. There is a reason. Yeah, there is a reason. I guess now I'm reminded of why you were invited onto the uh, community college of cardinals. I got to be honest with you. You know, tell you something truthful. I'm thinking about completely getting rid of every watch I own and getting a Richard Millay. Huh. A Bubba Watson. What do you think of that? Richard Melee is like rap music. It confuses and angers me. Ooh. Yeah, I think the same thing. I, I... Clive, if you sold all your shit off, right, you could buy some amazing stuff. Please okay. read my uh, name. Hey, Suck Colonel, Mike this... Hook. Suck Mike Hook. I don't Suck get it. Suck my cock. Suck <laughs> my hook. Hook. Suck my Two dollars, New Zealand. Now I gotta ask uh, you, Tanzillan. You, so you're not Tanzillan, are you? No. What? Well, who no. is this guy? This guy is who? Who is he? He's Tanzillan, isn't he? <laughs> no, you're Tin Tin Zene, aren't you or not? Which one are you? Yes. You send that's, money. That's you're quite affluent, aren't you? <laughs> Uh, well, I, I'm not, uh, I'm not Tanzil, Tanzilin. Yes, but, but you're affluent and, and tell me this. Um, he means you have a job. You have a job. I have a, I have a job. Have a job. Have a job. <laughs> tell me this. What should I do? I'm not feeling happy in my watch collections, not making me happy anymore. What would you do? Okay. Also, before you get to that, one other quick ancillary question. Yeah. Should he shave the horns or not? No. Okay. I was thinking about seeing much. a dermatologist next week. No. no. No, you should be going the opposite way. No. Oh. You should not be seeing a dermatologist. You should Fuck. be seeing You know a, what pisses me off? Should be seeing, I just found the coupons I needed. I just found the coupons I needed. Fuck. Doesn't that well, shit you, you off? You should be encouraging the horn growth. You should be seeing a veterinar veterinarian instead of a dermatologist. Clivey, you, I wanna, what do you reckon, what do you reckon of the idea if I get rid of a few pieces, what would you be getting rid of? Let's talk to our friend here. Okay, so What do Arch, you think, what do you think? Well, super chat, sell Arch and get the Patek Philippe Grand Complication Chime. I don't have enough money. Okay. What would you get? What, what should I sell, what should I keep? Be honest with me. Be brutal. They're not sell making me ha sell everything except the reverso. And what do I buy? 
I would go down to Vintage Brisbane Watches. I'd work out something with them or another local used shop, okay? And work out a deal with them. Yep. And f- for you to go down and check out a watch, bring it home, mm-hmm. review it for a week, and then bring it back. And then, say, of course, every time you'd say, and this, uh, this is on sale, this is courtesy of, courtesy of Brisbane Vintage Watches or whatever the fuck, and yep. review other brands. Because when you think about it, when you think about it, you've got the hotelology stuff going on. You should be able to go into the other brands and figure out what is good, actually good for the money, and what is not good for the money. What would you buy? Am, is my is my sound on? Is my sound on? Hello, in hello. Phil, Phil, in Phil, what would you buy? Get a Panerai. You wouldn't have to sell your whole collection, but. Get- I, I would get a Panerai. I'm, I'm looking Panerai. at getting a submersible, submersible Pam 24. What do you think? No, no. No, I, I say stick with the basics. Pam 5, Pam 0, Pam 111, Pam 112. I mean, you can sell those easily. You can buy them easily. And um, they're cool watches that people want and people like. Jesus Christ. Why, I, I, why why have Pam's crashed? Can I ask you that? Why the fuck have they absolutely crashed? They're, they are absolutely unsaleable. Is that true or is that false? Here, they're, they're not unsaleable. I, I... What do you think of 30-meter dive watches? I think it's a disgrace. I think those those uh, thirty meter Panerais, they're a fucking disgrace. Because, I mean, what... what and, and they even have the um, the... The crown guard yeah. and it, it, it the, the panerai the luminor crown guard with a snapback 30 meter water resistance it's it's a joke it's it's, it's a real and spring thing. bars and yeah. spring why bar. did they do that why did they move away from that beautiful panerai screw to spring money bars? money yeah. it's the, it's the same reason yeah, why I, you I, I hear you but why didn't they it, drop the price of these watches because i can't really recall them being that much cheaper no, they, they tried to pass it off as savings because they didn't jack the price as much as they normally did. It's the same reason why you're drinking heavily and eating an entire pizza and then vomiting into a trash can. Money. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. No, I, your way at not... least has a little bit... Your way at least has... Your way of earning money at least has a little bit more dignity and integrity. I, I, I'm not sure I'd go that far. I mean, remember the, the Rolex stance? Well, okay. I, one minute. I think the pizza's here. One minute. i got to go and get it. <laughs> oh, boy. So, anyway. This should be good. Yeah. Oh, what, what do you think about the uh, champagne uh, linen dial? I love linen dials. I absolutely love linen dials. And and, and that's why, um, for me, I actually like the four-digit date trusts over the um, modern ones because, you know, the linen dial. And even even the later tapestry dials, I like those too. I, I think it's so much more interesting than the sort of modern dials. Yeah, they actually, they, I actually think a lot of ways vintage has a little bit more going for it than modern. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a lot of they weren't as well. I almost think it. I'm. I think it probably just costs like ten cents more or something to do it now. So that's why they. Oh, here we go. Oh, All right. Goodness. Wait. Hold. Hold the fort for me. Watch for super chats. Okay. Okay. Hey guys, how are you? Guess what? Oh, it's. I'm just going to open this pizza up. Da 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 da! I think that's the first real unboxing you've done on the channel in a long time. (laughs) (laughs) Sniff the box, Marge. Sniff it. Glorious retail experience. Sniff the box. Uh-huh. 
I, I remember the last time you ate a pizza on air, and th that was the beef and reef, and that was oh. the uh, that was the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, yeah, but there is almost a joyousness to it. Mm. It's it's like it's like watching a puppy eat its own shit, you know. <laughs> There's just a certain joy to it. <laughs> and then it had a dog. Did they do that? Oh, yeah. But there's just, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. You're paid to eat the crust, too. No, no, no. Yeah, no, I don't the crust. I got a tissue. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to wipe the fucking crust. So about that weight loss program. <laughs> Free food <laughs> doesn't count. Free food doesn't count. That's what Jesus told me. Now, Ving, what kind of pizza? I don't. Looks like by the looks of you, don't eat a lot of pizza, or you might because you're young. What's your favorite type? Uh, I like Chicago style pizza. Honestly, I mean, I know it's not real pizza, but it every once in a you can't have it every day, but you know, you go have it once in a while. And uh, what is Chicago? Fantastic. Pequods. Pequods is the best. And if anybody disagrees, they can super chat. Super chat if you disagree nice. that Pequods is the best Chicago style pizza. Maybe I'm just kind of old, but you know, actually, I remember, you know, there's like a Ken's Pizza over where he grew up in my small town, and they had the best thin crisp. I like a thin, crispy crust. The crispier, the better. Mm. Literally, you should worry about your pizza breaking, in my opinion. That's, that's how crispy I like my pizza. Okay, Archie? Yeah. You, so for right now, just in, just consider, just think about enjoying your pizza. Mm. Yeah. Don't even think about the nasty vomiting you're going to have to do shortly. <laughs> and you still have to do it. 50 bucks. Yeah, it's 50 bucks. Either... You either have to vomit or, and and yeah, and I think it has to be in a trash can too. You can't just do a running off camera and doing and, and doing uh and doing it like stage antics off you know off to the side. Or if you do vomit outside, you then have to take the camera outside and show the vomit. I mean, you know, I think we have to have standards. What standards on the Archie Luxury Channel. I mean, you must admit, well, no, we, no we, other watch guru eats pizza on camera, do they? <laughs> I'd like to see poor Thorpe do this. He's copied every other fucking idea off me. I'd like to see Federico do it. I think he could uh, give you a good run for your money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. A flint at the bottom. Okay. Um, who will go bankrupt first, Chicago or Canada? Good question. That is a good question. Uh, I will say um, Chicago because of uh, okay. Michael Madigan, who's probably worse than any politician in Canada. Okay. $5 super chat. Randy Havens. Archie, please st sell some of your still stunners. In quotation marks and get back to the gold sub so you could say get the f out of my way you lousy hunters so mm. what do you say about that do you think good you idea. should sell huh good idea so what would sober archie say to that you know our hypothetical archie i agree with that there that's 100 percent right I, I thought you said I'm starting to feel full. I'm starting to feel full, guys. Well, well, that's what that's what the vomiting is for. You won't feel so full anymore. Another piece. And just to think, guys, that those fifty dollars in super chats could have gone to feed hungry children, and it's in going Africa. to feed a YouTube Africa. celebrity. Well, Archie. Archie is hungry, and he has the emotional age of a small child, so that's kind of the same thing, isn't it? 
<laughs> yeah. Small yeah. children. Small children are incapable of working. So is Archie. Mm, good point. Thank you. Very good point there. It's uh, sad Ooh. but true. Ooh, I'm starting to be full, guys. Well, drink something. Drink something real quick. It's not going well, guys. I think you no. need another beer to wash it down, Archie. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh. Oh. Cheers, fuckers. Jesus Christ. And by the way, Clive, they don't actually drink Fosters in Australia. They just export it to um, other countries. Mm, fuck. I did not know that. Yeah, it's it's like the piss that uh, they nobody in Australia wants to drink, and they just like you know think that, you know some dumb Americans are going to drink this. So it's the it. Australian version of Iron City beer, basically. Okay. Chicken last peach, guys. I'm still hungry. No, is that's right. You can have it. That's... You want a piece? No, I'm good. I'm on a I'm on a diet, so I'm I'm good. <laughs> How can you be on a fucking diet? I no, I'm I'm uh, I'm joking. Robert Padilla says I'm not even sure Americans drink it. Yeah, that's that's what they say. Um, they're talking about Aussie beer in the soup in the chat box now. Um, Forex isn't Forex what um, all the bogans drink. Mm. Bad beer. Yeah, it's a bogan drink. I, I like Tui's Old. That's my favorite Aussie beer. The best Aussie beer is Crown, Crown Lager. The Pope used to drink that. You know that? The Pope? Which the Pope, Pope was Australian? The Pope. The Pope is Australian. The Polish the, one. The Pontiff is Australian. Okay. Okay. I can just uh, feel the kilos going on with this. You know that? Okay, Vintage Relics watches. He'll send. Okay, you've got the email address. So, yeah. Oh, he's going to send him my Fed, his FedEx account number, so he can overnight me the new Rolex. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, do it. We'll try to end the well in the super chat right after he Ralphs into the trash can. Not the super chat. I'm sorry, the live stream. It's technically. It's okay, guys. One more piece left. You're paid daily a whole pizza, not all but one. <laughs> one piece, guys. Yep. No, that's fine. You have it. You have it, Paul. You look hungry. No, guys. Twenty dollars if you want to see Paul eat another pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it, Clive. That's it. There's no more. There's no more eating here. Mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. You you should really think about getting into this because you know you can probably yeah, eat actually. a lot. You can probably eat a lot more than these uh, skinny Asian YouTubers. You can, mm. I think. You mm. you are a you know you're a champion at, at at this. So it's a mere snack. It's not lunch. This is a snack. Yeah. You know that? Okay, so thirty dollars for Paul to eat another pizza. Uh, uh. That's enough now, guys. I'm not feeling How about good. Uber Eats? How about, does, do they uh, have Uber Eats in Australia? They do. <laughs> okay, $30 for Paul to do Uber Eats, an entire bucket of KFC. $30. Right, that's enough, guys. I cannot eat anymore. There we go. One pizza. Gone. No, there's still uh, the stuff. There's still cheese on the bottom. That is still cart says part of the pizza. Scrape the cheese. Uh, okay, yeah. Don't want to waste that. Exactly. Okay, how about yeah. Hungry Jacks? Can you do Uber Eats from Hungry Hungry Jacks? Hungry See if Jack. Scotty will bring you some Hungry Jacks. Okay, guys, thirty dollars, and Archie will ask Scotty to bring over Hungry Jacks. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if I'm feeling too well after that, guys. You know that? 
I'm supposed to be okay, losing $50 weight. Okay, $50 if you want Archie. $50. You think, I, you think I'm, I'm skinnier now or not? $50 if you want Archie to eat the grease-soaked bottom of the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on, Paul. It will taste like pizza, basically. Yeah. You don't have to eat the entire bottom of the pizza box, just the grease-soaked parts of it. So it'll slide in quicker. Slide in. Slide in quicker. I know. I know. I think that might be enough at the moment there. i got to finish this beer. Someone paid $20 for me to drink this beer. We have to keep the punters <laughs> happy, you know? Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, 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 Jesus. Okay. Someone. Oh, my God. Um, this is GB114. Cool. GB114, you're brilliant. Why didn't I think of this? Okay. $50 if you want Archie to eat like a pound and a half of prawns. Yes. <laughs> hey, can you get prawns guys. delivered? Can you get prawns delivered in Australia? No, we can't. We can't. I think you can. Oh, I'm not feeling too well, guys. Now, I, right, wanted, we'll just... I wanted to ask you, tell me this. What have you bought lately? What have you bought, Mr. Jin? I haven't bought anything lately. I mean, I, I wanted to. So, actually, I, I, I thought about buying. Jesus okay. Christ. Super chat. Super chat. 56, 56 Australian dollars. Richard Seuss. Thanks for 56 review. What do you think of Omega Boutique refusing to handle Tissot repairs now? At the boutique, an old man was turned away with his old model, like he was turned away from the gates of heaven. What would the pontiff say to St. Peter? I can't believe it. They turned down a Tissot repair? That's crazy. Why would you do that? I mean, look, seriously. Wait, I got didn't, you just get, didn't you just get your son a Tissot? Yes, Tissot's a great watch. There you go. There you go. They're a great <coughs> one. I can't believe that they wouldn't serve it. That's just crazy. That's just money for jam. Yeah. Tissot, Tissot really, it, it using an ETA movement, it's no different to a Squale or a Breitling Heritage One, is it? <coughs> no, and it's even actually, it's even easier than Breitling because it doesn't have to be within cask. Exactly. Exactly. I, I think it's bloody piss poor. Thank you, Richard Sos. I did the review on the uh, 56. Richard, <laughs> I think you should be buying. I'd be buying some. I'd be buying a Breguet Type 20. They're bargains. <coughs> bargains. Go and look on E-Lady. They're on sale <laughs> at the moment. BJB <coughs> texted, T-Sos are like a guilty wake in the toilets at work. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty wink in the toilets of work. <laughs> you know, I, I've actually been thinking of getting my own Bregster, a Type mm. 20. You're joking, this, aren't you? Oh, I mean, bang <laughs> for a buck. I mean, you're getting a fucking Breguet. I mean, for, for it, five minutes. It, it is a Breguet. For, will you get it on a bracelet or a leather strap? And the bracelet? I thought, for a second, I thought for a second you were going to say I was really thinking about having a guilty wink. <laughs> 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 Well, it, well, if I was still at work at this hour um, on a on a long week on a Friday before a long weekend, I don't think it would be so guilty. <laughs> um, but no, I, I think the the, the brigade type twenty <laughs> on the bracelet is a little bit too um, blingy. You know, it's it's high polish. It looks sort of brightlingish. <laughs> You know, the transatlantic is actually a matte finish, but don't you? Yes, I like that. But I, I, I think the... Um, I like the no-date butt. You know what I mean? Yes, so do I. And I think um, and I think it looks great on a strap. I think it's... <coughs> or even on a NATO, it looks good. It does. You saw the uh, the NATO I had on mine, the yeah. French flag NATO. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tzok said, go away with Breguet is a watch you wear when you're mowing my yard. <laughs> I think Breguet is a cool brand. It is a cool brand, don't you think? Yeah, I like I like Breguet. The the other one that I would, um, you know, I I've been thinking of a chronograph. It was between the Breguet and the uh, and the Zenithel Primero. Ooh, it, it's a tough one for me. 
But the, the El Primo is a uh, column wheel. Uh, yes, but it's. I believe it is. Yeah. I don't know if it's but, vertical clutch, but is it vertical, it's not vertical clutch? clutch. It's <coughs> lateral clutch. It's um. It's. I mean, it's. It's, an, it's a really old movement. It was the first automatic chronograph, so it's um, yes. not exactly a modern uh, chronograph. It doesn't even have hacking seconds. Oh, Ving, I've been working on my YouTube impersonations. You want to see one? Sure. Sure. Okay. See if you can guess, guess who this impersonation is of. Siri, start vacuum. Alexa, start the vacuum. Alexa, turn off all power. <laughs> Did you get it? Alexa, do your fucking job, you fucking bitch. Turn, turn on the you. fucking vacuum. So did you guess who it was? No, we had uh, no idea, Clive. No, I, I okay. think it was a, a certain uh, Paul Pluta. Yep, yep, ding, ding, ding. And you even brought back a bottle of urine. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Fitting. <that funny. laughs> I got to tell you, you know, um, tell me this, Jin, I wanted to ask you, What's your view on the Breguet Type 20 versus the Vacheron Overseas? I think the Overseas is a killer watch. The new Overseas, the 4500V with the blue dial, I think is just absolutely killer. I mean, the, the value is going to tank after you buy it because it's a Vacheron. I mean, that's mm. just what happens. Um, what do you think of think, the 56? The 56? I think it's a fucking disgrace. I mean, at an affordable restaurant, that's like an affordable Rolls Royce. Yeah, it, it's 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 it's. Uh, you're you're right. Every time that um, Richemont takes over a brand, they fucking destroy it. And they bought all of the. They bought so many of the great brands, and they fucked them up. Cartier, um, JLC, Jacques Le Coutre, yeah. Yeah. Panerai, um, even Panerai, uh, Vacheron. Even um, even Piaget, they. I mean Piaget. I mean, I, I know it's not your favorite brand. I happen to like them, but they they've been fucking them up too. Actually, I, I quite like some Piagets, but they then they release a steel Piaget. Piaget was super exclusive, and then they release yeah. a steel version. What the fuck were they thinking? <laughs> you know, funny funny you say that because I I actually like the Polo Ice. I think it's a cool watch. Mm. Maybe the price is a little high, but you know it's a fucking Piaget. You can't. The, the price on that is like 9300 US. You can't, mm. if you sold it for less than that, you would destroy the brand. So, yeah. So, okay. Uh, uh, what is a shitter? Anything that Archie Luxury buys. Okay. You know, if you would have, if you would have asked the same question, I would have given you the same response. Awesome. Well, that's why we are in the Community College of Cardinals. Cardinals. Terrible minds think alike. Exactly. <laughs> no, seriously, Archie, what is the exact definition of a shitter? A tell shitter. Us before you, tell us before you throw up or while you're throwing up. A that shitter. Would be more that'd be more appropriate if you told us while you're throwing up. A shitter is something that is affordable. It is something that is a compromise. It's using a Valju, an ETA, or a Salita movement. It is something that your wife won't hit the... She won't, she won't initiate divorce proceedings if you bought. It's something that is... The worst thing is affordable. It's got to hurt. It's got to hurt. It's got to, got to, got to hurt. If it doesn't hurt... It ain't fucking real. It ain't exactly right. You know, it's just that's but the, that's relative. You, you know, if it's you anything were uh, under four and a half retail, 
MSRP or used? Yes, M MSRP, MSRP. Okay, so is that adjusted for inflation? Is that in 2018 dollars? Uh, look, anything under four four US is generally a shitter. So any watch, any well, let me put it this way. So if you can walk, buy that watch brand new for under four and a half thousand dollars, what is the retail in America?